In the last lesson, you learned how to translate phrases into math notation. In this lesson, you'll learn how to translate sentences into equations. So here is example one. We have twice the sum of a number, and three is 12. So all we're doing is we're translating this into an equation. So when you see the word twice, twice means two times something. So two times what? Well, two times the sum of a number and three. So the word sum means addition. So the sum of a number and three means we're adding a number with three. So we can write that as n plus three. And then the last part is 12. Is means equals, and then 12 is just 12. So my equation would be two times n plus three equals 12. And I could write this without the time sign. I could write it as two, and then parentheses, n plus three equals 12. And that's the same thing. Example two, when a number is multiplied by three and the result is decreased by five, the final result is 12. So the first part where it says a number is multiplied by three. That means you have three times some number. So we can write that as three times n, or three n. And then it says the result, so the result of three n, is decreased by five. So decreased by five means you're subtracting five. So we now have three n minus five. And then it says the final result is 12. So is means equals, and then 12 would just be 12. So my expression can be written as 3n minus 5 equals 12. Example 3. 3 less than the number y is 10. So the first part where it says 3 less than the number y means we take the number y and then subtract 3. So that's y minus 3. And then the last part where it says is 10, that can be written as equals 10. So my equation is y minus 3 equals 10. Example 4. We are using the figure and information below to write an equation involving x. So it gives you the perimeter of the triangle equaling 20, and then it gives you the side lengths being 3, 3, and x. So perimeter simply means the distance all the way around. Or if you add all these side lengths, so you add 3 plus 3 plus x, that gives you the perimeter. So if I take 3 plus 3 plus x, we know that must equal 20, because the perimeter is given to you as 20. So this would be my equation, and I can actually simplify a little bit. 3 plus 3 we know is 6. So I could write this as 20 equals 6 plus x. Example 5. You are to choose a variable to represent the number described by the words in parentheses, and then write an equation that represents the given information. So you are told that the distance traveled in two hours of driving was 100 miles. And you have the word rate in parentheses, meaning you want to write an equation um, that uses rate in there somewhere. So is the first part says choose a variable to represent that number in parentheses. So we can use any letter, any variable to represent rate, uh, but might as well use R for rate, because rate starts with R. So let R equal the hourly rate. All right, and then we need to write an equation. So the equation we want to use will be your distance formula. So the distance traveled is given to you. So the distance formula was distance equals the rate, or the speed, times the time. 
All right, that's my equation, my formula. So the distance is 100 miles. So we could plug in 100 in for D. And then the rate is not given to us. And the time is given to be two hours. So rate times two. All right, so I can write this as R times two equals 100, or 100 equals R times two. And instead of writing R times two, I could write this as two times R or two R. So I can write this final, uh, final expression as two R equals 100.